Okay, so what's up, guys? It's your boy, motherfucking hacker. Andrew here, and today I'm going to be talking about NTFS with Mac. Now, if you guys didn't know, Mac does not support, um, or it did not support, um, NTFS reading until 10.3 update. Now, you know, since 10.3, there's been a lot of new updates. Um, NTFS hasn't been really touched around, but there was an NTFS-3G update for the, uh, the whole, um, dish utility type of deal. So it's like an add-on. Um, and you know now it reads and it writes so not only can you plug in an NTFS to your Mac and be able to read it but you can also write and copy files to it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to format a drive and how to copy items onto it now um, usually um, when you do this you open up disk utility and stuff like that um, and you can do that by clicking on it opening it up and then um, you click on the drive and you go to erase and you can click the format that you want to do now you guys can see here I have a Windows NT file system. Now this is an add-on. Um, I'm going to give you guys the link to this. If you guys have a Mac, it works with uh, a Mac, uh, anything other than 10.3. And it's always best to keep your Mac updated. Now, you can always do that by going to the top left-hand corner, clicking on the Apple, and clicking Software Update. Um, usually once you update your, your latest firmware, um, you want to go ahead and click on the uh, on the tab here and I will give you guys a link for it. It's just an add-on. It's 6.6 .6 megabytes. Once you install it, it asks you for a restart on the computer. It's free and it's a, it's an official um, straight from Apple. So you want to go ahead and install that um, and then you want to plug in your flash drive, your whatever you have um, and open up Dish Utility which I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, and this works uh, for Windows as well. You can, uh, you can plug in a formatted NTFS uh, hard drive or external or even flash drive into a Windows and it'll still read it just like an NTSC or NTFS I should say I'm over here chopping it up but anyway um, we're gonna click on the main tab here we're gonna go ahead and click on erase and then we're gonna go ahead and click uh, format we're gonna format it to Windows NT file system NTFS click erase and then we're gonna go ahead and proceed and there it is now it's gonna unmount it's gonna write it um, and we're gonna go ahead and check this out in a minute um, we're just gonna be uh, I'm just going to be patient wait for this to load. It's a 40 gigabyte uh, external. Um, so we're just going to wait and that's the only thing we could really do. But anyway, so there is uh, there are the specs, there are the, the info that you need. Um, and if we click on the untitled bar, we can see that um, the format is uh, NTFS. Dash, don't, don't worry about the dash 3G. Um, as long as it's NTFS, it'll still work. It'll tell you the capacity um, available. And I mean, it is what it is. And um, if you guys uh, didn't know, uh, most uh, most of your flash drives, your externals, were are always going to have a uh, a partition. Now, a partition is basically like a, like for an example, we're going to use a a pizza, right? A partition is basically a slice that gets cut out for informational um, use that the hard drive uses. Now, you guys can see here. My capacity is 39.81 and available I have 39.74. Now it'll take a couple megabytes um, and, and your usual basic external and internal will just have one partition. So you know if you're trying to do that uh, the PS3 with Multiman then you know you know that you have one partition in every uh, in every external. If you have more than one then you're gonna have to do a, a an additional digit to the uh, the digits that go when you're setting it up. So just to let you guys know, I thought you guys should know about that. People on Macs, you could still do this and format um, your program. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people out there have Macs and don't know how to do that. Well, I hope this helps you and, you know, you know, you can move on and do your things. So it is what it is, guys. Um, I thought I should let you guys know. I didn't really plan this video ahead of time. As you guys can see, I stuttered a little bit. Um, and, I mean, it is what it is, guys. Peace.